Hello, I'm with Mr. Michael Robertson, who's chief executive of the Vedic Village Resort and Spa in Calcutta in India. Vedic Village is a premier Best Western property. Uh, Michael, very nice to see Hi. you here Hi. this afternoon. Good to um, see you. Uh, first question, Michael, that I have for you is, is this. Calcutta is not perhaps traditionally associated with tourism, certainly in terms of visits from uh, the international market. Uh, and particularly having a, a spa resort, has it proved to be a challenge uh, attracting foreign visitors to come to your wonderful property? To address your first point, things are changing very, very quickly. Uh, there's a new government in place after 30 years, mm -hmm. and the emphasis is tourism. In fact, uh, the chief minister has said that Calcutta must be fashioned after London, mm -hmm. uh, Darjeeling out of Switzerland, <laughs> and so you're going to see an influx like never before. It's a historical city, it's a place which is green and beautiful. It has the sea and it has the mountains, so you can't ask for more. Absolutely. So, do, please describe the, the hotel and its uh, facilities and, and its treatments. Well, what we've created is a very unique medical spa resort. As you know, in the spa lexicon, the medical spa resort is the highest in the spa lexicon. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when we set out to build this property, we used local principles, we treated the property as an organic property, we never put any chemicals in the soil. That meant that the birds, the rare birds, mm -hmm. and the butterflies return to the property. Calcutta is known for its crows. Mm -hmm. There are no crows in Vedic village. Right. So that was our first step. The second was to create a world-class medical spa offering both Ayurveda and naturopathy and trying to see if medical doctors, highly qualified people on both sides could actually blend their, their work to mm -hmm. the satisfaction of customers. We've had extraordinary success. We have an MD in Ayurveda as our director of medicine. We have four doctors on site. We have one of the biggest spas in India. The number of rooms are 14. Mm -hmm. And we attract visitors from the UK, from Germany, from Italy, from Israel, from France, and the new markets now opening up of Russia, mm -hmm. certainly America, and uh, people like the Netherlands. They're all coming uh, to experience mm -hmm. Ayurveda. And you see, Ayurveda has been always talked about as being special to Kerala. Yeah. But that's not true because Ayurveda is universal in India. It's, sure. it's an Indian uh, medicinal Mm -hmm. um, science, which is very, very, very old. So when you mention that you are a medical spa, does that mean that your guests come to you with a pre-existing condition that you that they want uh, you to cure, or is it more wellness, or is it a combination of the two? It's certainly a combination of the yeah. two, but what is happening in the wellness industry worldwide yeah. is that the focus is moving to anti-aging. Right. Now, when we talk to a, a, a prospective person who's coming to the spa, the first thing he does is link up with our doctors. Right. And they share information so that when he arrives or she arrives, they come with an exact medical plan. Right. So they don't waste any time. We don't talk of seven and 14 days and 21 days. We say, you come after you consult the doctor, right. they come with a plan. So what, what is the average duration of stay? Or is it, it is between seven and 20 days. Right. Uh, yeah. So that, that is when you can really be, mm -hmm. if you have a real problem, uh, mm. the doctor can certainly make an impact. Mm. Now, the difference with Vedic and, and the, other, the other properties is that, first of all, you actually talk to the doctors before yeah. you come in. You know what your protocol is. And then, very importantly, 
we don't insist that you have necessarily the bland Indian food right. of kitcheries and, and yeah. the rest of it, so that he's so sick of it by the time you go back home, <laughs> you say to hell with it, I'm yeah. not having that sort of stuff. <laughs> what we do is our corporate chef sits with you, mm. say if you're an Italian, well, you say, I like pasta, and I like river fish, or I, I like this, or I like that. And then he and you work out a uh, Ayurveda mm. designed menu. Right. So that when you go back to your country, you're also having that. Right. The key to Vedic Village is that we have taken a decision to get a hospital accreditation. Right. Now we're going to be the first spa in the country to have that mm -hmm. and we hope by January we're going through the audits that we will be the first spa in the country to have that and that's being uh, uh, certified by the hospital board, the Quality Council of India and the tourism board. So once we get that, you really know the word is authentic, you Absolutely. hear the word authentic Absolutely. but you'll be sure that you're getting quality treatments. And that's going to be very, very critical. So there are a lot of things that are going to happen. One is you meet the doctor before mm -hmm. you come. You talk with him before you come. You share your reports. Then when you come, your protocol is decided. You're mentally prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, if you suddenly land up on a day and then you're told you're going to get three enemas. Mm -hmm. My gosh, you know, you say, what, what's, what's been done to me? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's you're prepared. For well, what happens and then when you go back you get a discharge certificate mm -hmm. you get a formal discharge certificate and you can always be in touch with our doctors mm -hmm. to take it forward people come with alzheimer's parkinson's chronic stomach disorders sleepless disorders mm -hmm. uh, oh a plethora of problems and uh, each one goes back osteoporosis mm -hmm big problems yeah. and they're all anti uh, uh, they're, they're all and pollution based so that that's where it's it's all happening well it sounds an incredible facility you've described it amazingly well and after three days of world travel market I wouldn't mind a visit myself please do come <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you very you. much thank, thank you, very you. Much.